Wow. Hello, my name is Hoy. Today, we'll show you how to make this Pokeball and walk you through all the basics of needle felting. And I'll show you some tricks so your Pokeball doesn't end up looking like this. First, we will need some felting needles. Technically, one needle should do the job. But ideally, we want as many as possible because they do break easily and different types of needles have different effects. Next, we need some wool. For this Pokeball, we will need black, red and white wool. There are more tools that I'll use in this video. But these are the absolute bare minimum we will need to create the Pokeball. Here are the two types of needles that I use. The left one is a coarse needle. The one on the right is a fine needle. You can see the one on the left is thicker. I'll explain the differences later in the video as we make the Pokeball. Next we need a surface for felting. We can use a towel, but a foam block is better. If you have a felting mat, that's even better. OK, let's get started now. Let's grab our core wool, or just any wool. Start rolling our wool as tightly as possible. It matters very little which direction we roll the fiber. The shape is mostly determined by the direction, angle, and the position we stab. Use coarse needle first. Coarse needles are thicker, so they compress the shape much faster. They are mainly used for sculpting shapes, rather than adding details. With needle felting, we are basically tangling the fiber with our needles. The more we step and more tangled they become, and less space for air inside, so they become smaller. We can continue stabbing like this, but I want to show you this amazing tool. This is a needle felting pen. It's basically a tool that can hold three needles, so you can stab three times as fast. You can find it easily online just by searching felting pen. It's so good that I have two of them. We really don't want to accidentally stab ourselves now, because it will hurt three times more. We can protect our fingers with these finger gloves. Most needle felting starter kits should come with finger gloves. I don't wear them all the time, but it's helpful in the early stage when we are just stabbing randomly to compress the wool into shape. Keep rotating it and stab all around evenly, and it should eventually become round. Think of it like sculpting with clay. If we press the clay, the clay will compress and create dents. So try to aim for a round shape. This one is taking a while because I didn't use core wool for the shape. If you don't know what core wool is, it's basically a cheaper wool we use for the core of the project. They are easier to felt because they are thicker and coarser. There are many things we can use as core. I usually use polyfill as an alternative to core wool. I decided to just use normal wool as core to show that core wool is not necessary. It's tricky to decide when to stop using coarse needle because everyone has different ideal of softness. I stop once the shape looks good and firm and it's getting harder to stab. I'm switching to fine needles now. Notice how smooth the fine needle poke inside and doesn't change the shape too much. Now see the coarse needle. There is resistance with each poke and create small hollow hole. When you buy felting needles, they usually have labels to indicate the gauges. Felting needles commonly have five gauges. The higher the number, the smaller the needle. Anything lower than 36 gauge is coarse needle, and 40 gauge above is fine needle. 38 gauge is the middle, multipurpose. Before doing the next step, let's take a look at our derpy pokey ball. This is what happens if we don't make our shape firm enough and continue to use coarse needle when adding color. Now back to our normal Pokeball. Grab our red wool and place it on the ball. Try our best to find the middle, but don't have to be perfect since we will be adding black on top to cover the edges. Once in place, start stabbing around the edges first. Use fine needles for this stage. Fine needles are for adding colors and doing details to avoid changing the shape. Since our Pokeball is already looking good, there is no need to change the shape. Continue to work on the edges. Once we have a clear line for the red part, we can start working on other areas. Now we just need to keep stabbing until the whole thing is smooth.
Now I realize the red is too dark. I don't really like it. I will show you how to fix it. Just grab our brighter red and cover it by stabbing on top of the dark red. This is the nice thing about needle felting. It is a very forgiving medium. You can easily fix mistakes just by adding more wool on top. Now do the same with our white wool. Try to keep the white and red separated. Just keep stabbing until it's smooth and all covered in white. Looking good. This is what the derpy poke ball looks like when it doesn't get enough stabbing before adding colors. Now get our black for the middle. We don't need too much. It's easy to add more if we don't have enough. For more experienced felters, we can just add the black like this. But for beginner, it might be better to felt the shape first, then attach it once it's more firm, so we don't need to manipulate the edges as we felt. Lay them on our felting mat and start stabbing them. But remember to keep flipping so they don't get stuck on the mat. Also twist them a little bit so they become thinner and the fibers stay together better. Now grab our felted black piece. Check if the length is good. It's a little short, but don't worry. Just grab more black and extend them by felting them together. Now let's attach our black piece for the middle. Wrap it around carefully. This time we really need to find the middle point for this. Luckily, there are tools we can use to help us. We can use needle pins to help us pin the black piece in place. Once the black piece is pinned, we can just measure it to check. For this part, we can use either coarse or fine needle to attach the black piece. But don't use felting pen for this part, because it will be hard to control where you stab when there are three needles. Use coarse needle to compress the dark part to make it more 3D, or just use fine needle if you want a perfect ball shape. Stab straight down vertically to keep the black piece straight. There is a gap. Fill it by adding more black wool. Rub and squeeze them a little bit to reduce the size so it's easier to felt onto. If there are any stray fiber, try to push them away from the white and red and stab them toward the black. The black line is a bit thick. We can reduce the size by felting at 45 degrees to push the black in. Remove pins. Looking good, but let's check out how the derpy pokey ball is doing. I use felting pen on the black line. It's hard to make clean line when you have three needles to work with. Also the ball is not evenly felted. Some of the black just sunk into the softer spot and it creates a very uneven black line. We can see some of the black are separated because I didn't switch to using one needle. Also I didn't twist the black fiber to make them stay together better. Who? Back to our normal pokey ball now. Grab more black wool and felt a flat circle shape. 
stab at an angle to reduce its size. Remember to flip it so it doesn't get stuck on the mat. Continue to stab it until the size and shape look good. Grab our black circle and attach it to the Pokeball now. You can use needle pin to help pin it in place. Notice I use my finger to push stray fiber towards the center while stabbing. This will help make the line looks cleaner. If it doesn't look round, stab the parts that are sticking out at an angle to push the fiber inside. We can use coarse needles to push this circle further in. If you find this video helpful, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. This will help me make more needle felting tutorials. Thank you so much. Let's check out our derpy pokeball now. See how sloppy I am making this. And the final result really shows. Remember that needle felting is very time consuming. Your project will look better if you take your time and plan it. Before the next step, let's clean our felting mat. We are felting white wool next, so we don't want anything to get in. Grab our white wool and make a circle that is slightly smaller than the black circle we just did. Don't worry if you make the white circle too big. I also made it too big and I will show you how to fix it. My white circle is the same size as the black one. Let's make it smaller. Grab a pair of scissors and just trim the edges. We can also cut it like this if it's too thick. Place it on top of the black circle. Attach it by stabbing. Pretty straightforward. Our Pokeball is almost done now. We just have one more thing need to fix. Because we added red and white color wool on the ball, it made the ball taller and slightly oval. Use fine needles and start compressing the shape from the top and the bottom. Even though we are trying to shrink the shape down, we don't use coarse needles here because of few reasons. First our Pokeball is already quite firm. Stabbing it with coarse needles will be difficult and hard on our wrist. Second, coarse needles are too thick. Stabbing will leave bigger holes and we want to keep our smooth surface. Third, we are only making slight adjustments to the shape. Fine needles also have the effects of compressing fiber. If we are not careful with coarse needles, we may over felt and make the shape worse. We can stop once our shape is round again. I'm just fixing some details here. Did you succeed making your own poke ball? If so, please consider leaving a like and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment if you have any questions about needle felting. You can also request tutorials for characters you would like me to do by leaving a comment. Here is our final result. Thank you so much for watching until the end. Let's not forget our other Pokeball. Here is our Derpy Pokeball. I don't think it's bad. It definitely has a more handmade feel to it if as that's what you're aiming for. Some may argue it has more personality than the other one. Now that we have succeeded making our first Pokeball, maybe it's time to advance to the bigger Master Ball or even characters. I will have the video for this Master Ball in the upcoming weeks. Please stay tuned. Please check out my channel for tutorials on how to needle felt video game and anime characters. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more needle felting videos.